I'm standing here with Ronnie Kölde from uh, Norway, no, Finland. I'm Finnish, but I live in Norway. Okay. And uh, you have the topic of, of mind control. Uh, what Can you explain what is mind control? Is it a technical means of something or do you... Well, I think it is the worst uh, technology in the world. I, I would say personally that it's worse than the atom bomb mm -hmm. because um, it um, makes people to different personalities. It's electromagnetic fields that can be thrown over you. It's also uh, drugs that can have an effect on you. Uh, it's psychological warfare against the civilian population. And uh, the whole thing is to keep you under, like a zombie. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, the plans of the elite are to eliminate two-thirds of the world population. And that sounds totally crazy, but that is a fact. What was your first contact with this topic? I mean, this is uh, something no, most people don't even know that there are these plans. How, how did you get in contact? Well, um, I'm a bestseller author in six languages on parapsychology, ufology, and now mind control. And it took me years to understand that governments are planning to eliminate their own people. And I've been to international congresses. I've met people from all over the world. I've talked to cosmonauts. I've talked to astronauts and a scientist from all over the world. And uh, by and by, you learn. And I do think that uh, people should know about it because they don't want their children and grandchildren to become biological robots for the supercomputers. How could that happen? I mean, what's that technology like? I mean, how can they uh, really make people zombies? Because it's a military uh, technique, and that's why it is kept secret. Also, it is a technology that uh, secret services mm -hmm. are using against us. Um, they usually put a device into um, an apartment or a house which is next to the target. They pick out targets. Usually, they are different kinds of women, single women especially, because single women uh, are alone and they don't have support of the family. They pick out, uh, of course, um, mental patients, they pick out prisoners, they pick out um, soldiers, etc. But today they pick out anybody to be a target, especially politicians, because politicians, of course, are the ones who are allowing this system. Yeah. But I think they don't know what they are allowing. So um, they beam through the walls, they beam from the satellites, and they beam from white vans and from helicopters and planes and it has a terrible effect on the human being. Who is it? Is this kind of a microwave? Or yes, or, yeah? among others, yeah. yeah. And they, uh, they, if I were a target, they could rent a, a, play, a neighbor place and they could do it through the walls or what? Oh, oh, absolutely. Or like I said, they park a white van next to you or, or, or from the helicopters. And satellites too, you yeah. said. And the right, uh, and how do, you, how do you protect yourself against mm. satellites? It's just about impossible. What have you personally um, experienced with, uh, since you're uh, researching on this? I mean, it's pretty yes. dangerous probably, yes? Oh, I know that. I have been researching it for over 10 years, and I, I'm also a target for over 10 years. They killed my both parents, trying to shut me up, and they killed my best friend in February because she knew too much and she gave me information. I've had death threats, and uh, I've been taken by ambulance to the hospital uh, unconscious because they poisoned me and uh, like they say you can be killed too and I said that's fine but there is no death and that's my strength because I know that the human body is just just water mostly and it's the energy that is us and so you just get out of your body which I have done sometimes and sometimes some women who are delivering babies and they have great pains they also get out of their body mm -hmm. and then they watch themselves de delivering the baby and then they come back so when you know that you can't die because energy can't die, it just changes form, changes the frequency. So that's my strength. I know I can't die. They can do whatever they want. I can't die. So um, first, the, the topic of mind control would really make you afraid that you can't do anything. But uh, your solution, uh, so to say, is that we are not the body, but we are spirit, or what are That's we? right. That's right. And when you know the truth, hmm. who you are, how did you come to this planet, and when you are an energy, of course, you are also multidimensional. And you can be on many, many dimensions at the same time. And that's very, very hard for people to understand because we think of time as in linear time. Mm, it but it's, it doesn't work mm, that mm, way. Mm. 
so you can be on another planet at the same time as you're here. That is your energy, not your physical body. Do the secret societies or whatever also engage in time manipulation? Or do oh, you yeah. Know anything oh, yeah, about in the States, you know, the Montauk yeah. uh, project, you know, they, they do time travel, and uh, quite a few uh, kids, young boys, have died with the mm. experiments. Mm. Uh, but they are able to go to the future and to the past, and they are even able to change the past, which sounds totally mm. unbelievable. That's very dangerous. It's so they very can dangerous. do a lot of things. And exactly. Mm -hmm. um, I heard the, the, the uh, foreign minister of, of Sweden has been uh, killed. Have you heard anything? Or had an, had an accident? Did it, do you know that it had uh, anything uh, which, to do? Which one? The Swedish uh, foreign minister, you told me. Uh, are you talking about the, the lady who was killed, the no, foreign minister, nine. Anna, Anna Lindt? Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, she was killed by a by a young Yugoslav man who was, in my mind, totally mind-controlled to do that. Mm -hmm. Because that's what they do. They program people for killing, assassinations, or for spionage. And of course, there is a reason why they target a certain person. And I think it's, it's atrocious that young men who are, in principle, normal, they are beamed and beamed and beamed for months or years. And that changes their personality into hate, because you can, you can change anything. You can change any emotion. Somebody loves you, they can change it that Makes somebody sense. starts hating you. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't understand why don't they, because they have this technology, why don't they send the vibration of love? Frequency of love. We would all love each other. This would be a paradise. No. They don't want it. They, they don't want, want control. Or exactly. what, is it, what is behind it? Exactly. They want control and they, according to my sources, they are planning to eliminate the middle class. Mm -hmm. So they just want the elite and the slave class, right. because middle class is dangerous. They can read and write, and they can react. OK, and where is the solution? Uh, it's uh, people being aware that they are not the body and that they uh, free their mind, or what's the solution? Well, number one is awareness. You have to tell people. Very many don't believe it, because it sounds so un uh, it just it's unethical, un immoral. It's, it's just like of science fiction. Mm. But if you don't know, then you become a victim. Yeah. And if you do know, then you can do something about it, maybe. And with the energy of all of us, when we concentrate, sending love and light to those who harass us, then that takes the weapons away from them. They can't do that. But we have to get the people to do it first. They could kill you any time, you told us. They could do it via satellites. So they, yeah, could, right they know here. where you are? Absolutely. They're listening work. to what I say now. But why haven't they done it? Mm. I mean, they killed my parents. They caused a stroke to my mother and, and um, bleeding inside to my father. And uh, cancer, uh, fulminant cancer to my friend. I think I'm protected by the universe because I've been mm -hmm. saved so many times from absolute situations of death. Energies come and stop mm -hmm. when I'm supposed yeah. to, you know, die. So I just believe they still want me to do something. There's a higher spirit, um, uh, however, what you want to call it. I, I, don't, I don't like to you use different words. I just say the force of the universe. Okay. And it can be protective. Absolutely. Mm. So what can we do uh, to enforce it or, or to, to get this protection? Well, you, ask. you ask. Number one, you ask. Yes. And when you ask, it yeah, will be given to you. Uh -huh. Okay. That's so as simple as that. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> it sounds right. easy, but it's, uh, it's really um, uh, it's, it's really a hard topic, and uh, people are not aware of it. So, you're, uh, what's your ne next project? You're writing a book, or? Well, I have uh, right with me uh, a manuscript. Uh, uh, a book has come out already last year in Finnish, and now it's been translated into Norwegian. Mm -hmm. I just have to get a publisher, and then I think I'll take a vacation when it comes out because <laughs> it's hard, hard yeah. information. Maybe we should look for a publisher in German, huh? Yeah, any time. I've sold, uh, my four previous books have sold a quarter million. Oh, that's so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mm. Yes, Considering <laughs> I'm a medical doctor, that's not my profession. No, uh, <laughs> but it's great, really. So people yeah. are uh, interested in Oh, that. they are. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, how can people be manipulated over TV or PC, uh, computer or whatever? Do and telephone and radio. Mm -hmm. Because they are sending certain frequencies. And sometimes, especially in TV, I don't have a TV. I don't also have a mobile anymore because they said you're on a hit list. They can just increase the, the power of the microwave 20,000 times and burns your brain. Mm. But um, uh, they sent in certain 
programs like those for children, Pokemon mm -hmm. or Teletubbies, they are mind control programs for children. Mm -hmm. And that is terrible. That is really terrible. It's in internet. You can read the whole thing, what they mean. The big uh, sun coming out, that's the authority. You know, have to so obey the authority. It's symbol, symbol it's sim symbols, symbols and, and all the way through. And, and when they were showing in Japan the Pokemon Nintendo program, mm -hmm. so it was, I think it was ni about 900 children got epileptic attacks mm -hmm. because they put the epileptic attack frequency. They can put a cancer frequency, they can put a stroke frequency, they can put any emotional frequency. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's pretty scary. Mm -hmm. And people don't know. They just watch like zombies the TV, and TV is like a hypnotizer. And sometimes you see it's very, very, the, the picture changes, it's, it's light, it's light green instead of being the normal color. Uh -huh. That's when they are beaming with extra. Uh, so you better, hmm. you better sort of <laughs> get out of the way. Oh, you can see it. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. What, yeah, if what you know what to look for, yeah. Usually you would think that it's, it's a technical problem. Yeah, but no, no, no. It no, it's, meant, it's okay. meant to be, to affect mm -hmm. your brain negatively. Do, do you know anything about the Columbine massacre and all these high school students are going... Um, yeah, that's, we had those uh, two of them in Finland. It's always a political reason. And number one is to get guns away from the civilians so that they can't uh, protect themselves if some crises come. Like in Finland, we were the only country in the, in the European Union that voted, no, we will not restrict the guns. Because we have a long border with, uh, with Russia, 1,700 kilometers, and the bears and the wolves come over. So we have young men, 15 and so up, who are hunting. Mm -hmm. We have more guns in Finland, third more guns uh, in Finland, according to the population in the whole world. Mm -hmm. So we said no. Then came the school shooting. And our prime minister said, oh, well, we, we will have restrict. To do something about that. And the next day came the NATO mm -hmm. secretary general. Finland is not in NATO. We don't want to go mm -hmm. to be ruled by Americans, etc. Mm -hmm. So we restricted, but very little. So one year went another school shooting. And then the prime minister said, now we are really going to restrict. So they got what they wanted. And think of the Nepalese uh, uh, royal family when the crown prince killed king and queen and, and the whole, whole family. Mm -hmm. So oh, you always have to, and at the end he killed himself. That is Delta programming in mind control to kill yourself so you can't be, you So know, they can program exactly. someone to commit suicide Abs yep. after... Um, That's Delta programming. Mm -hmm. And you always have to ask who benefits, then you know who is behind. Mm -hmm. Who benefited in Finland, uh, you, the European Union, because mm -hmm. we said yes. Mm -hmm. Who benefited in, in, in Nepal, king's brother, who was gone and came and became a king. Mm -hmm. But luckily he's gone out now. But who is the one who is doing the programming? Mm. That's CIA and, and intelligence services all over the world. So and unethical doctors who mm. have implanted people with microchips. Are there even forces behind that that you would call Illuminati or anything? Well, like you can call, call them whatever. that if you want to. Yeah. New World Order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're using the, the secret uh, services, services uh, as, as Aaron Boyce do the, whatever. Yeah, they do the dirty work. Mm -hmm. That's right. And they have technology, but we don't know about this technology. How far is it advanced about what we know? Of course it is. I mean, they can read your thoughts, your subconscious, your dreams, and mm -hmm. they can influence you. Well, that is pretty advanced, Absolutely. I would say. Yes. And people know nothing about it, generally. Mm -hmm. And then they say, how do you prove it? How do you prove secret military actions? Mm -hmm. yeah. If you get your, whole, your hands on, on some military reports, and because of Freedom of Information Act in the USA, a lot of reporting has come out. And that's how you find out. And you have a lot of documents in your book, yeah. I, I suppose? Well, some. Is it everywhere the same in, in the Far East and uh, Asia? It's all over. It's, it's all, all over, over, especially Japan. I've gotten letters uh, from Japan, from males and females, that they are subjected to mind control mm -hmm. uh, harassment. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's all over the world. Mm -hmm. So, sounds frightening, but you say that the solution is that we are getting aware of what's happening and we, we know that we are not this body and we are not uh, afraid of losing this body. That's right. You have to remember there's no death and we are not alone in the universe. That helps a lot when you know that. I think that would be a nice <laughs> uh, last word. Thank <laughs> you, Dr. Köhler, for this interview. Thank, Thank you. you.